We are Scratch, the Migrate to Electronics Movement. Scratch, which is what? A religious group or a cult, whatever. Hey. Well, it looks like it's finally time to do Ask Z, though. It only took, what, five months since I announced I would do it? Oh god, was I really gone for that long? Okay, you all know the deal. You ask me and or the Zevo siblings some questions to answer. Do we get paid for this? Nope. Ready, set, go. How do you eat food? Question for everyone. So we're already off to a pretty good start. Okay, first real question is, what got you into Scratch? The summer before 4th grade started, my mom signed me up for a make-your-own-video-game camp at school. The program they used? Scratch. My 9-year-old self realized he was pretty bad at making games, but when I found out you could make animations, everything changed. Then I remixed a Sprite Master project and put my hair on a stick man, and then a Scratch 8 project made me discover who Astro 947 was, and now I've spent the last 10 years of my life on this website... Next question. If each of the characters were to have a real-life hero, who would they be? Hunted Skelly seems cool. Astro! Me! Zevo, why you eat Josh's sandwiches? They taste pretty good. Not as good as tacos, though. What are you going to do for your 100th project? I'm gonna sing. You think I'm joking, don't you? Well, that's where you're wrong. I never make jokes. What's Zevo, Josh, and Jessica's favorite movies? I love The Unfamous. It's so cool. What? The Scratch Saga is way better. No, it's not. Um, yeah, it is. Guys, you're both wrong. Randomness for the win is the best one. Have you seen the Narnars? I love Narnars. I don't really have a favorite movie, but if I had to choose, I'd say it's one of these. What are Zach's top three favorite video games? Well, this is as good of a time as any. I won't go too in-depth about why I like them, though. Number three, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2. 1 is the better game by a lot, but I think I like 2 more despite slow start and some problematic issues. They have some of the best stories and worlds of any piece of art I've experienced, but wait till you're older to play them. Number two, Super Metroid. Metroid is my second favorite game series, and Super Metroid is the best of all of them. I love exploration. The amount of different ways you can play this game through routing or speed running, it never gets old. By the way, play Metroid Dread. It's almost just as fantastic. Number one, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I can play this game whenever, wherever, however. It is an infinitely replayable game I've beaten at least a bajillion times, and it never gets old. The playable characters add even more replayability, and the level design is incredible. My favorite game from my favorite game series. Ask Zevo, what time is it? Now it's Ryan time! <laughs> Jessica, how does On go about making a Buenic potato? What? It's alive! Ah! Run for your lives! <laughs> it's all very fast. Within seconds, everything goes blank and you pass out. I didn't sense there was something wrong, and if you hadn't done that, I'd be a member of Scratch right now. Josh, why are you the purest bean dinosaur in the world and everyone will sacrifice our things and bow at our feet and if they disobey you, we all rip in the worst way possible and worship you like a god? Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so? Who are Zevo's, Josh's, and Jessica's parents? This pencil, you'll know in time. If Jessica falls, does she land on two feet or four? Okay, Jessica, are you ready? Wait, maybe we should answer a different question instead. Nah. nah.
So I guess she doesn't land on anything. So lastly, I got a lot of questions like this one. Basically asking why I changed the designs of Josh and Jessica from stick people to a monster and a cat. Well, time to get into way more detail about this than I need to. For those who don't know, Josh and Jessica originally looked like this. But now they don't. The main reason was, surprise surprise, Astro. Back in like 2013 when Astro was moving away from Scratch, he was slowly changing the identity of his series. For example, Charlie the Green Stick Man was basically replaced by his voice actor and Astro's best friend at the time, Sir Flubber. He and Astro were cops in this town called Hollowmore, which is the same town that Zevo takes place in today. This town was actually built in Minecraft years ago. Hey look, it's Zevo's house! This Minecraft map is still used as a reference for my project. The new style of Astro the Stickman only lasted a year or two, but it was still pretty cool. Even though I'm definitely the only person who actually cares about this stuff. And back then, I, an 11 to 12 year old Astro fanboy, saw this and was like, Man, I can't have my stick people designs look so simple. Since Sir Flubber's design was based off of a slime in Minecraft, I decided to make Josh based off of a creeper. I wonder what would have happened if I chose one of these mobs instead. Back then, Minecraft was only in version 1.4, so I didn't have a lot of options. Like, this was back when command blocks, bats, and the wither were brand new things. Anyways, as time went on, I didn't want Zevo to be connected to other copyrighted things, especially outside of Scratch. So, I slowly drifted away from the creeper design, and now Josh is this ambiguous green monster. So if you're wondering why I don't like Josh being called a creeper anymore, that's why. I just want Zevo as a series to be its own thing, you know? I think I like both of Josh's designs equally. Stickman Josh does a good job at contrasting his twin brother, but the monster design is more unique and way easier to use for backgrounds. The reason I changed Jessica was the same. If Astro is going to be the only stick person in his series, then Zevo is going to be the only stick person in mine. While I don't really remember much of the design process for her cat design, here's a fun fact. Jessica's original look was based on this drawing Caramel Star did of themselves in Astro's style. This, uh, this comment made me laugh a lot harder than it should have. In general, the main inspiration for Zevo was Astro and Jonzo. Josh was inspired by Charlie slash Surf Lover and Darwin from The Amazing World of Gumball. And Jessica was taken from Caramel Star and the character Heloise from this obscure cartoon called Jimmy Two Shoes. By the way, I named the robot after the Johnzo character, Maxwell, since the robot was heavily inspired by Johnzo's The Robot Invasion. Also, if anyone's wondering if the old designs are ever going to be brought back, well... I always like the idea of the stick people designs being used more for the lore and story-driven parts of Zevo while the monster and cat designs would be used for the more cartoony episodes of Zevo. So, stay tuned. Anyways, I think that's all the questions we have for today. I probably didn't miss anything important. See ya! What is Jessica's secret eye? What does Jessica's eye look like? Jessica, where's your other eye? Why is it always Jessica, covered or never seen? Jessica, can you show us your eye? You can What's say Jessica's no. right eye? I Zach, never got to see it. What's Jessica's show us your secret eye? Reveal, please. I'll blow up your lap. Jessica. Hey, Jessica. What's, what's, what's your secret eye? Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Can I see Jessica. Jessica. Why do you not want what to show your eye? Hair what is Jessica's, what is Jessica's eye? secret eye? What's Jessica's secret eye? I never wanted you two to know the truth, but if I don't tell you now, you'd find out soon enough. It's time I told you guys the real reason I kept this eye hidden from me for so long. Okay, here goes. Wait. Is that... What? what?